Hello and welcome to Arlington Film Theorist Movie Review Show. I'm Autumn Taylor and this is my co-host Cooper Williams and today we'll, we will be reviewing the film The Amazing Spider-Man 2 released in 2012 and directed by Mark Webb. The explicit meaning of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 starts with Spider-Man saving Jamie Fox, Foxx's character which makes him idolize Spider-Man and later he's involved with a work accident which makes him into Electro. He then goes downtown to see Spider-Man. The police think he's, a, think he's a villain. And even though Spider-Man tries to calm him down, the situation, uh, the situation makes Electro turn evil because the police start shooting at him. The Norman, then Norman Osborn dies, but before he tells his son Harry Osborn that his illness is her hereditary, and Harry Osborn finds the Spider-Man venom that could cure him and ask Peter Parker to help him find Spider-Man. Peter Parker refuses because he knows that it would be dangerous for Harry. Then Harry finds Venom in his father's lab and turns into Green Goblin. After the Spider-Man and Green Goblin start fighting and get caught, uh, and Gwen gets caught in the fight and dies. After this, Rhino shows up at the end and fights Spider-Man. The implicit meaning of this film is that to be a leader or someone that people look up to, there are difficult choices that you will have to make. For example, um, okay. now, uh, now some of the spy now a formal element that I enjoyed was uh, the special effects, mainly the webs that Spider-Man uses. Uh, the post-production made them, the webs look uh, real and definitely makes you think that this is more true to life and real. One thing I thought was cool in the movie was that they changed Spider-Man's suit because the director wanted it to be more accurate to the comic books and they gave him bigger eye lenses. Okay. Well, I personally enjoyed this movie, uh, but I, you know, I enjoy most superhero movies. so. I just, I love the movie. I give this a thumbs up. Yeah, I thought it was really good. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man movies, and I thought that the villain in it was really cool. I really liked Electro, so I yeah. give it a thumbs up to you. All right, so uh, my surprise question for you is, what did you think about Rhino when uh, he shows up at the end of the movie? I just thought it was very random and unnecessary yeah. to add, because like, they could have just left it at that. But, but they added, yeah. yeah. Um, my question is, what was your favorite character? Uh, I personally liked Electro. I think that he had a really good character. And, you know, while it sucked that he had to turn evil because of the police, I think that he still did a, Jamie Foxx did an amazing job playing him. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, well, I'm uh, Cooper Williams, and this is my co-host, Autumn Taylor, and this was Film Theorist, Arlington High School's movie review show.